determine what size you want the the hem to be around the edge of the napkin. I have half inch right here and I want it folded over. The reason why I'm doing an inch is because I'm going to fold this under just like that to get a half inch with a nice finished edge. A whole inch here and then you want to press a whole inch on this side on both sides after you do that the corner where both of those meet here's our inch fold here our inch fold there the intersection is this point right here and so you can see I've marked it with a pen so that you can see when I put the hot ruler you will see that this is one inch hem and then one inch right here and that is the ruler being used to create that one inch hem but I want to finish this napkin with a half inch right folded half inch hem but I have to start off with one inch and so that's why I start off with one inch once you do that all you have to do is fold over the raw edge to the ruler and then you press okay fold over the raw edge straight to the ruler and you press and you can use the stiletto to hold that down right you're going to do the same thing on this side fold over the edge of the raw edge to the ruler and then you're going to press fold that over and you press the raw edge right to the ruler and you press once you do that then you can bring in this corner on this 45 you see how this 45 degree line is right here in the corner this corner here is going to go and line up with that 40 degree line once you line that up hold that down with the stiletto okay this created a one inch square right here right we folded this over and pressed it to the edge we fold this over and pressed it to the edge now that these two are pressed all I have to do is fold it over here and fold it over here and now you have a perfect mitered corner but you're wondering what about that little piece of fabric what is she gonna do with this little piece of fabric we don't want to see that right this is where I love this hot because it's helping me with each stage of creating a perfect miter. I don't have to do any measuring. It's all in the ruler. How do you get rid of this fabric? Easy peasy, <laughs> if I do say so myself. <laughs> How do you do it? You fold it, this point, you fold it to the opposite side right there that little triangle maybe it's too small for you to see I just folded that corner to the opposite corner just like that opposite corner once you fold that over you're gonna fold this side you can even cut that tip off if you want because it's not really needed you don't need that extra fabric in there but you can fold it and now that fabric is gone. You have a perfect mitered corner. Is that amazing? Is that awesome? All with this ruler. Easy peasy. No measuring necessary. You use the ruler to do it. Perfect mitered corner. So I would come in here and I would hold this down with the stiletto, right? Hold that down. Bring my iron in here and make sure that that is pressed right I might even come in with a little bit of basting glue 
and hold it in place till I get to the sewing machine. So that's how you can make a beautiful handkerchief with mitered corners or napkin easily with the hot hammer or with the hot ruler. Then you just do a nice close stitch with blending thread all the way around. No raw edges, everything is put together very nicely. <laughs> 